So, um, I wanted to film this video because I've been feeling very, very strongly about this whole topic. Recently on Facebook, about a week ago from this video, I saw a petition to fire Farah Abraham from Teen Mom OG. If you guys don't watch Teen Mom, then you will not know what I am talking about. If you want to know more about it, I guess just literally Google it. I signed the petition. Um, I'm going to have the link for the petition down below. I absolutely love Teen Mom. I think Teen Mom is great. Um, I thought, I think it like really taught a lot of young girls like how stressful having a baby at such a young age is and how you should really have protected sex. Um, or none at all, like, whatever you want to do, just be protected and don't get pregnant type of thing. When it first came out, when Teen Mom came out, I thought this was terrible because they were glorifying Teen Mom. But then it actually came to realize, like, I did not really want to be a mom for quite some time. Like, I, I want to be a mom, but I know right now is not the time for me. I'm only 19, I'll be 20 in a month, so, yeah. But anyway... The topic came around, like, she has some really great points. The girl that made the petition, her name was Taylor C. or something like that. Um, and she made some really, really valid points. And if you guys disagree with me, I am so sorry, but this is my opinion and I'm not afraid to say my own opinion. You guys can have your own opinions too. I don't want any drama down below. If I start getting a lot of drama, I'm going to delete rude comments. I just believe that they should fire Farah because I want the show to be full of positivity. Um, every time Farah come, almost every time Farah has come on this season, she's just very negative and screaming and yelling and cussing and just all this, this just bullshit and um, just. <sighs> It's just so negative that every time she comes on, I don't even want to watch the show. I just want to fast forward through it um, because it makes me sick to my stomach that she would disrespect her mom like that, that she would disrespect anybody like that. Now, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know why, I just don't know why she, I, I have a, a sense of why she is the way she is, but I don't really get why she can't just not say these derogatory things. And um, you guys know there was a, a tape that was leaked apparently or something when she actually just went into the porn industry, which is fine. You can be a porn star. Um, I don't care. I have different morals and honestly, like if I didn't have the morals that I have, I would probably be a porn star just because they get paid a lot of money and you get to be pleasured, I guess. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel as if porn stars are all that bad. Um, Shannon Rose here on YouTube, I'll link her channel down below. She was an ex-porn star. Um, she retired, like, at a young age. She made a lot of money and, um, yeah. Anyway, she's a great person, you know? I'm not saying, like, just because she's a porn star doesn't make her bad. Um... And I'm not saying that she's a bad person, like she's going to be a serial killer. Like, I'm just saying she's not helping the show any. She's not really making anybody want to watch the show. Um, like, we still want to see what Macy, Caitlin, and Amber are doing, but I don't want to see what Farrah is doing. I could care less what Farrah is doing. I just watched the episode where Farrah took Sophia back to see Daddy Derek or Derek's family, um, in the grave and stuff, and that was probably the best episode I have seen from Farah. but, you know, I'm very sorry for Farah and the fact that she lost her boyfriend and her daughter does not have a father, but it doesn't give you, just because you lost so much doesn't mean that you get to treat everybody else like shit because that's how you feel on the inside, and that's how I feel. She's so that's that's why I feel she's saying the things that she says because she's still so hurt underneath that she just feels like she needs to just be angry all the time. And I I hope and pray that she finds some happiness in her life because it's not good to be so negative and she's going to be spending a lot of money on Botox <laughs> because of all the wrinkles. Um, but, but serious, on a serious note, if Farrah watches this, if she doesn't watch it, like... I don't care. I'm not wanting views. I just want to get this out there. Like, I don't 
I don't understand why she's so negative. And I don't know about you guys, but if you don't want Farrah on the show, let me know in the comments. Um, sign that petition that's down below. I really don't want to see Farrah on the show anymore because she's not giving anything to the show. Farrah is fine. If she was fired from the show, she's still going to make a lot of money because she is an entrepreneur. She is a very business type woman. She's starting businesses and things like that. So she's going to grow. She's going to make money. I'm not trying to get her off here because I don't want her to be glam anymore. Like she will still be Farrah Abraham and everybody will know about her just because she had done porn. Um, she was on Teen Mom mostly for those two things. Um, you know, there's just, I just don't think she adds anything to the show. I really don't anymore. Like it's just pretty much all the same. Like I'm going to yell at my mom because it's fun. I'm going to, you know, Sophia $600 from the Tooth Fairy. Like that's all fine and Danny, You can give your kid millions of dollars for the, the tooth fairy i don't care how much you give your kid i don't care i don't know why that was such a big deal i do and i don't but i don't really care that she gave that much like that's great that you can give that much to your kid that is so great i wish i could do the same and i hope for one day that i could but as of right now no way i was never raised where i'll oh, give him my, i'm gonna give my kid 600 dollars. like i was never like i'm gonna bust my tooth out because i'm gonna get 600 dollars. like i i like probably got a dollar from the tooth fairy you know so i was raised that way so i'm not gonna go and be spontaneous i might bump it up to five bucks but you know what i'm saying like it's just the way i was raised i was raised differently i don't like being treated in a negative way i was bullied as a lot of us were and i feel as if fair is just this huge bully to the producers and her mother and her father and um you know, I feel like her daughter is a little bit spoiled, and that's totally fine. You can be spoiled, but you don't need to be mean and spoiled. Um, I don't want to go there, but I'm going to say I feel like she's turned into a spoiled brat because of her mom, and I did not want that so for Sophia at all. When Teen Mom came on and I saw Farah for the, like the first time, I was like, Farah's my favorite, Farah's my favorite, and then it was Macy. Farah... I liked Farrah so much because she was beautiful and I thought she was fun and she was pretty glamorous and all that jazz. And then a couple of seasons later, I was like, I don't like you. Like, I don't like you. I don't like you anymore. You're very rude. I don't like what you're saying. There's just, you're not being positive for these girls that are learning from your show. All things she does is inappropriate. Um, like... Sophia in the last episode was saying some really sad things about how she wanted to die so she could see Derek and that is so sad but for, Sophia did not understand what that meant because um, she was saying it so happily like she did not she doesn't understand death I think she kind of knows that when you die you just go away but I don't know I just don't she's not bringing anything to the table I don't know. I just don't like Farrah. This is my little rant. I just I just don't like that she's being so negative and so disrespectful to the the crew, the cast, her parents. She's always been rude to her parents, but she does not need to take it out on any of the crew members. Macy doesn't need the stress. Amber doesn't need the stress. Caitlin does not need the stress. I mean, like, come on. Please just get rid of Farrah. Like, these girls tried so hard to be friends with Farrah, and they now know that Farrah doesn't want anything to do with them. And she's basically on the show just to make more money, and that's really her only purpose I see. And I think if she were to be fired, she would be still fine financially, and I don't think that would be the last that we'd see of her. She's coming out with this new, like, mommy-daughter makeup beauty line or something, and she took pictures with her ass hanging out in front of her child. And that's definitely not okay with me. Um, like... Yeah, you're going to breastfeed your kid and they're going to see your breasts, but you don't need to get naked and act like a porn star like you used to be um, in front of your daughter. That's very inappropriate. You could have done that without your daughter there, but you don't need to have your daughter there because what you do, your daughter's going to want to do too. Um, I guess I'm just going to stop myself there because I'm just saying the same things over and over. Um, you can be as rude as you want down there, but you're not going to stay, your comment will not stay in my down bar. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, if you saw my views that I was saying, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you feel, what MTV should do with Farrah in the comments. Please sign the petition down below if you are one of the believers that Farrah should be fired. It's down below, very first link you'll see. 
Um, and yeah, you guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.